What's up, it's your boy Mellow One, White Labor Radio, classic hip hop from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, and I'm here with the legendary Hieroglyphics crew. What up, fellas? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> we got everybody in the building, man. This is legendary. So let's get right into it. The very first album, 93 to Infinity, is a classic, bona fide classic. Everybody look at it, it's in the top 100, top 50, top 10 and something. What does that mean to you guys as far as 20 years later is still being revered and, and championed? With, with all due respect, um, first of all, that's, that's absolutely great. But with all due respect, that's not the first album that Hieroglyphics ever put out. Okay. Um, really set off the Hieroglyphics adventure and what happened and what came to be. It started with Dell's album. Uh, which my brother George was here in that's 1991. True. That's true. And, and um, you know, this is something that's autonomic to the rest of High Road. It's like we have to, this is like really what happened for us. So, um, 93 until Affinity was just something that happened after that. Like everything we've done has happened after that first inception. And uh, once again, with all the respect. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. You're uh, absolutely right. That album that, pre that pretty much put High Road in motion. Nice. So, as far as Dale is concerned, he. You guys knew him from the neighborhood. How did, how did you guys hook up with Dale and how did that whole thing tra transpire? Uh, we all went to school together. Okay. I'm saying casual, A plus, uh, and Tajay, they all went to elementary school together. Me and Casual went to junior high. We really all kind of like came together in high school. That was like the that was the real formation of High Road, you know what I'm saying? So okay. we it down, you know, for years before we ever ever came out. You know what I mean? We was friends first. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So so back to 93 to Infinity, you know what I'm saying? As far as that song, like that that album in '93, like G Funk was popular. G Funk was popping. You guys kind of came and did your thing and and and, and made it and made it kind of cool to not be a gangster in khakis. Was that something you guys were trying to do? Or is it something that's kind of just organically happened? I'd say it organically happened. And uh, the, 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 the image and the reality are always two different things. Like Some people say that Hyro is just all about being whatever, peaceful, not, you know, whatever. But you, you got a group of male men, men here and, and, and everybody has different attitudes and some of the, some of the things that, I, that that you you know in the time that we grew up in the, the, that a man that a male teenager or whatever could be on any you could pick any member of this crew and we was on that same shit too but as far as music and artistry I think we all had a certain level of sophistication that 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 made us agree on a certain level. I'm saying when it came to hip hop. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. And did you guys know when you guys were doing the early stages after Dell, when you did the the, the, the 93 and 50 album, did you know that 21 years later you have 16 year old kids still rocking with you guys? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we were 16 ourselves, so. Somebody 21 years later, we think they was down here dead. Like, really, like, 35, damn? Oh, man. Damn, you got one foot in the grave. Please retire. You know what I mean? That was like retirement age stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so, yeah. Do, it still, do you still get chills when you go out there and you see the 18 year old kid and he know your stuff word for word? That's crazy. Oh, definitely, yeah. That gets you juice. Does it? It's longevity, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. It's longevity, baby. <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> what's special about hieroglyphics is that, um, I mean, hip hop's only been around for so long, and we're in our own way of first of our kind. To, to have a premonition that you would be around this long means that you would be thinking that hip hop has been around this long. Yeah, when we started out doing it, hip hop was a brand new music. Yeah. I mean, it hadn't been around 20 years. To think about like, what would you be doing in hip hop in 20 years? It's yeah. not something that was in the forefront of anybody's mind at that time because hip hop had not even existed yeah. at all. That's work. So, that's I mean, work, right? yeah. so that, that's what makes it even more surreal and, and, and humbling for us. Yes, because after all the all of this time, after however many years it's been, what's happening to us and what we're thankful for is happening for the first time for all of, for us and other artists that are like us that are that are still like 
for instance, like your example, getting people, got 16 year old motherfuckers rocking in the front, like, my, my son is 13, he's famous at school because he was his dad, and he's like, yo, that's his fucking dad, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, that's just dad, but, but this is happening to us as hieroglyphics for the first time, so, uh, there, there was no way for us to, for, there was no way for anyone to foresee what hip hop was going to be doing, and, and granted, it was like, we, we got we got into the game professionally when Dale first came out. Hip hop had been around since the early seventies by that point, and was still finding itself and defining itself even all all the way to today. So, I mean, we're proud to be a part of the process that's unfolding in front of all of us. I mean, it, it, it it's surreal as fuck. You, you know what I'm saying? Jerez said it best. That was like, cause as a whole, hip hop ain't even twenty years old. Back when we was like that, the time that was during our time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying that's for sure. That's for sure. Uh -huh. So like. What you guys do, you guys have a movement, and it's 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 kind of hard to see movements or whatever. But like your logo, that Dale design or whatever, is iconic, and it's like you think of logos, you think of Public Enemy with the scope or whatever. You think the Wu Tang W, and you think of you guys' logo. Um, um, when it first, when Dale first designed it and brought it to you guys, what was your thoughts? I mean, that that, that, that that's a varied story. I, I remember fully him making up that. That symbol. I mean, I'm not, and I'm not the only one. I'm saying it like I remember, but yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, it was. Um, there's a high story to that. When Dell made up that symbol, and he was like, "This is what's going to be our symbol." We were all like, "Word, okay." No other, no second thought about it. But years later, it came to fruition that that symbol actually meant a lot more than Dell even had in his mind or knew. Like, for instance, for example. It's um it's a Mayan hieroglyph for the concept of infinity, for the concept of harmonic resonance, and for the concept of the number eight, like uh, it, uh, all of those things. And we didn't know that, and Dell didn't know that, and we we didn't discover that until years and years after we had already started building and supporting the brand with our music. And so, once again, we're as flabbergasted and and, and thrown back by how this is happening. That's what, that kind of like is a source of our humility as a group, kind of what keeps us together. It's because this is happening not for us as well as everybody else that we may be having an impression on. Like we're going through this together and we're just happy to be, to feel that, to have that moment of specialness, to feel like we're a part of that. Everybody's life is crazy, but if we're, we're, we're in y'all lives because of this music. That's amazing, you know. That's dope. That's dope. And you guys do a lot in your community. You know, you guys got higher old day coming up. When did that start, and what does it mean? Um, I feel like Cash came up with the concept. You know what I mean? But it was the. I don't know. That's necessarily true. I think a, a fan actually put it forward that uh, nine three would be high roll day, and then Tajay uh, had pointed that out to me, and I was uh, I think he recommended that we should turn it into a real thing. I don't know if you want to build on that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and since then it's just grown from you know uh, uh, a sort of live street party to something now that includes community activism and children's uh, area and awareness raising, and also just a good time for. Uh, Open to celebrate all the local vendors and stuff. I mean, it's, it's a free festival. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you know, we had Craig G there last year. All kind, you know, it's, 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 it's a good music festival. Uh, this year's gonna be 28 bands. Um, the Dunkers from the Warriors game gonna be there. It's nice kids area. Beat Swap Meet is gonna be there. So it's gonna be record trade, three stages. You know, it's, I mean. It's, it's, it's just a party and I celebrate Oakland and all that we've been given through from the city and try to give back in a way that's constructive and be in our lane. Like, it may not be the best thing for us to be running around hollering like we're activists, but we can use our music to bring people to a point where they, they're some activism starts happening. That's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. I mean, I wish, I wish more people did that in their community, but, you know, hopefully you guys leading by example or whatever. Last but not least, you guys just did a project with Adrian Young. Yep. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, man, stand up. <laughs> hey, just because you said it, man. The man himself? You know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah. Turn yeah. Turn. <laughs> That's what's up. So, you guys did a project with Adrian Young. And how did that come about? How did how did the connection come about? This man hit me up on Twitter and asked 
request if I'd be interested in doing an album with these dudes. And uh, to me, it was a no-brainer. It was on, it was on the heels of me finishing up my finishing up my Ghostface album, and I wanted to go in a different direction in hip hop. And there was just nothing better for me personally. Like that's what I that's what I've always wanted to do that. So we spoke on the phone. A few days later, we all spoke, and then like a few weeks later, we're all in the studio starting the album. That's and when you guys spoke on the phone, did you did you have the concept in mind? Because it's, it's a conceptual album, so is that something that you guys talked about on the phone, or when you were in the studio, it kind of folded up that way? Well, we we talked for hours, like figuring out like if we're gonna do this, we like we gotta like be on the same page, and it was literally like hours of of talk amongst all of us on the phone, like before we even hopped into the the linear lab, just to see if we even on the same page, and I'm. It, not embellishing in any way. Literally hours of, of back and tip for tap, back and forth, just to be like, man, we're gonna be blades, we're we gonna be sharp as steel up in here, so we can cut through the music, man. That's what's up. I mean, it, 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 not embellishing. We talked for hours before we was like, so here I got a beat. We got some raps. It was hours of talk before. That. Did you make the the beats on it? Or are it, the beats pre-made or was something you made after you talked to them and started to get a concept together? Well, we didn't start recording anything until there was a concept established. Okay. And once there was a concept established, uh, we basically had a script for the movie. So if we're working on act one of the script, I had to have something prepared for act one. See what I'm saying? So like, if act one is a chase scene, they know they gotta write lyrics for a chase scene. I know I gotta have music that sounds as though, or evokes the notion of us going through some kind of journey so every day was just a new composition new perspective to fully contextualize the story and push it all the way to the end so to answer your question yes and no but everything was pretty much plotted out okay the album is dope and it's getting critically acclaimed will we see a part two or another collaboration between you guys i think the best question is are we going to see a part 10. Yeah. A part 10 okay okay so Hey, look, so you're, 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 you already got one. You got hey, can, can I say something yes. with all due respect? That's the first time I've ever heard him personally say anything like that. And that just like, fucking like, yeah, like, I never heard that. So I guess so, you feel me? So you heard it here first? That's what my heart said. <laughs> he, said he said it. Yeah, man, like, I... It, it has to be a, as a fan. I'm a fan first, and it has to be more positive between you guys because it was just so. Really? Really? It, it, it has to be because it, it was just so dope. So, so I want to hear. Well, I, I, I would say that there's no way it can happen unless we get cash and, and pep. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I, I know. Maybe, maybe a hyper record. Yeah, it's more up to them. Maybe so. a hyper record. Okay, so we're gonna make that happen, right? Ooh. Okay, okay. That's what's up. So. <laughs> so, anything else you guys want to add? What else? You, anything else you want to add before we end this interview or whatever? Any new projects, solo projects, or whatever you got going on? What about the kitchen, Iro? And uh, yeah, I got a new record coming out. The Pep Love. Um, I can't even remember the name of my own shit. <laughs> Dollar Dad Love got a new record. Dollar Daily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about social media? Social media, of course, is. I mean, we all got some shit. Uh, we got way, some shit. <laughs> the, I mean, the best way to find us all, and anybody can say anything individually, but the best way to find us all is at www.hieroglyphics.com. We all have IGs, we all have Twitters, we all have Facebooks, and we're all like really personable art artists. That I, we live by the fan because we are fans that are artists. It sounds like you met him. You met him on Twitter, so I mean, like, no, 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 no bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, remember, it was a Twitter discussion of a bunch of people who work with Souls of Mischief, no. and I haven't like been had been like in the conversation. And all of a sudden, I see Adrian Young be like, "Yeah, I work with Souls of Mischief like today or like something to that effect." And like, I've been watching the whole like trail, but I was like seeing Adrian Young, and then, like, we already know who he is. Like, yeah. we're, like we're in, like we're. 
we we enjoy music, so Soul Submission and Hyrule Living is like, and I had to hit them like blood, like man, I hit him back like, yo, you wanna work with Souls? And like we all like, dude, like we work with him in a heartbeat. It was just like a bunch of artists feeling the same way, meeting on, like you said, on social media. Just like I forgot about that shit. Hey man, but the whole thing, you're right. That, yeah, but, yeah, but, but I, I remember that shit. You know how you can search history and shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit is still there. <laughs> <laughs> it, like we, it was a bunch of other people talking. I'm just looking at the shit like, yo, it's, I'm glad people want to work with us. It was nobody no, noteworthy though. Like it was a nobody who I knew or like. And I seen your name pop up. Was like, I immediately hit the fellas like blood. Like, yeah. but Adrian Young said he'll fuck with us. You know, like that's dope. That's dope, that's yeah. dope. So we'll see anyway, part two through 10 through 20. Everybody got solo projects. Yeah. Of course, hieroglyphics.com is the place we can get everybody's Instagram, Facebook, and whatnot. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for rocking with us and whatnot. White Labor Radio, Classic Hip Hop. We out.